Hey guys, welcome to a study with me slash a day in the lockdown. After the alarm goes off at 5.30 a.m. and after quite a bit of struggle, I pull myself up from the bed and get freshened up to start my day. So the goal is to have a really productive 8-10 to 10 hours of study. My mum makes me a cup of coffee and while munching on some biscuits, I place myself in front of the computer and sort out what I need to do for the day. As I'm preparing for a PhD fellowship exam called CSIRnet, I decide to tackle the largest unit from the syllabus, that is, cell signaling and communications. The whole unit is divided into four parts. The cell signaling, cancer biology, cellular communications and the immune system. So I decided to tackle one part at a time, starting with cellular communications. I start reviewing my notes and diagrams that I had made during class and try to recall everything that I know before doing any reading. Once I finished cellular communications, I start with cell signaling and cancer biology. Well, I'm doing them together because most of the pathways in cellular signaling process directly relates to the onset of cancer. For example, in cell signaling, one of the key pathways is RAS MAP kinase pathway, where gain of function mutation in RAS can lead to cancer by increasing the rate of growth and proliferation of the cell. This goes on for quite some time after which I take a shower, put on some moisturizer and go on to finish the rest of cancer. Here, I'm using an app called Notion, where I have written a lot of questions from cancer biology a year back. I'm trying to answer these questions from memory and marking those which I'm not getting correct or partially getting correct. This method is called Active Recall and is by far the most effective technique one can use to revise stuff. At about 10.15 a.m. I get a reminder on my phone and I hop on for a class on animal physiology that I'm taking on an academy, hashtag not sponsored. So today we are dealing with the sense organs and specifically with the ear and the eye. I take some notes on my iPad, although the class notes are provided to the enrolled student just because I wanted to keep myself actively engaged in the class, although it is online. If anybody is planning to take class for CSI on net on an academy, I would highly recommend trying out Kushbu Agarwal ma'am's classes. First of all, she is a phenomenal teacher and secondly, her depth of knowledge is unfathomable.
For those of you who are curious, I'm using an app called Notability to take handwritten notes on my iPad. After the class ended at 12 p.m., I quickly had my lunch and came back to log in to another class by Kushbu Ma'am on molecular biology. While doing the class, I ate an ice cream and because I have already taken a ton of notes on molecular biology during my university classes, I skipped taking notes in the class. The class ended at 2 p.m. and I still had some energy, so finally, I recalled some immunology questions for about one hour and ended my study session for the day. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next vlog.